Ha <laughs> ha! Strong as an ox! Subscribe for more shitty content. And like the video so I get more views. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Esports Money, ZSM, MAC10, whatever you want to call me, and welcome to my Guide to Jungling Spirit Breaker in patch 7.06F. Uh, I'm clearly hashtag out of ideas at this point. Spirit Breaker is not a very good jungler. However, this is an option that you can do if you think that your lane's going to be hell for some reason. And by hell, I mean really, really, really badly. This is a very short jungling guide and short for a reason. The idea is I'm only going to be going to the jungle between levels 1 and 3 or 4, depending on how good my jungling camps are. And I'm going to get the basic bare minimum starting items and then go try to get a gank from lane. So, I'm going to grab this choke down here, the infamous choke uh, behind the hero right now. Um, I'm going to get my bash at level 1. My passive, I'm going to max that by level 7. I'm going to put a point in charge of darkness at level 2. I'm typically going to put another point in greater bash at level 3, and then at level 4 I'm going to level empowering haste. So the play is generally going to be a single point in charge of darkness for a long time, maxing out empowering haste second, and maxing out greater bash first, getting my ultimate at all possible times. Uh, your ultimate also doesn't do anything if you don't have a point in your bash. It, it, a big part of what it does is based on the level of Greater Bash. Another thing you should know about Greater Bash is that it does damage based on the movement speed that you are moving at. So if you have more points in Empowering Haste, you do more damage with your, with your Greater Bash. Charge of Darkness doesn't just push people out of the way and stun them when you move through them, it actually applies your current level of Greater Bash, which is why we're going to be maxing Greater Bash first. If you want to level Charge of Darkness second instead of Empowering Haste and only get a single point in it, that's totally fine, it's up to you, but the golden rule to remember with Spirit Breaker is you generally want a value point in Charge of Darkness very, very low, almost always, and you always want to have Greater Bash max by level 7. As far as talents go, I'm going to get the movement speed talent at level 10, plus 20 movement speed. At level 15, I typically like the, I typically like the plus 20 damage, but you can go for the plus 5 armor if you so desire. At level 20, it's a very... It's a, it's a hard decision, plus 30% greater bash damage or plus 120 gold per minute. Um, it's going to depend on the situation that you're in in your game. I'm not going to tell you to do one way or the other. Greater bash is all magic damage, though. So, if you... It does it does pierce BKB, but if the enemy's building pipe, if the enemy's building around magical damage, so if there's a lot of other heroes on your team that do magic damage, you're probably going to want to go for the 120 gold per minute because you're not going to be doing a lot of damage with your Greater Bash. Again, this is largely up to you and your situation, but uh, it's hard because both of these talents are very good. Level 25, uh, plus 500 charge of darkness speed and plus 17% uh, Greater Bash chance. Again, this one's largely up to you. I'm typically going to go for the Greater Bash chance because if I'm building my... By the time level 25, I'm going to have a lot of core items and I can play myself like a carry. And if I'm playing myself like a carry, then I'm right-clicking a lot, then I want the Greater Bash chance. If you're playing yourself as a support utility, then go for the Charge of Darkness. You can see now I'm going back to the base to collect my Wind Lace with my Brown Boots, my Stout Shield, my Iron Talon, and now I'm going to have a TP. I'm going to finish Phase Boots because I can active phase bo activate Phase Boots while I'm charging to get extra damage in my charge, plus it gives me additional damage. So thank you so much for watching this guide. If you like this video, hit those like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you guys next time.